we don't have to talk about commercial failures here. <laughs> I still need to actually get all the animals out of there and then close down that zoo. We'll do that eventually. Community challenge! Yay! Oh, cool! I suppose. Oh, come on. They didn't actually tweet about. I got a mandrill and a saltwater crocodile. Cool! So they didn't actually tweet. They, they tweeted about like servers going down. They didn't actually tweet about servers coming back up. Well, I mean, it's good to know that they're back. But. And we can actually play. But yeah, anyways. Uh, you're playing the utterly productive automobile line. Ah, nice. So I don't think there's anything new. Because yeah, Canine Conquest is done. Um. Yeah, I got two animals. Okay, I could have gotten three, but that's pretty good. Um, so there we go. Done that. Why is it still yelling at me? Oh, did I want to do one of these? Yes, I did. All right, and then we've got... Hi, born to eat you! Lovely to see you! Happy New Year to you too! How are you doing today? Oh yeah, we got a snow leopard. So... Some of our exhibits, our, our habitats are already designed nicely. Some of them aren't, especially the polar bear exhibit. The polar bear exhibit is really boring. <laughs> um, you also need to put coolers down because right now there is no snow. You're physically dead but emotionally happy. Hey, uh, that's that's um that sounds great. Pretty great, yeah. Uh, I'm physically still sick because I got really sick over Christmas. Uh, but uh, I'll be I'll be right as rain eventually. Still coughing a lot, but I'll be I'll be all right. I will be all right. So coolers everywhere in here. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Snood. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Like, it's fine for hours. And then I have a like a really terrible coughing fit. It's really annoying. Uh, Sir Fraser returns with vanilla caramel chocolate ice cream with a dark chocolate. Oh, I mean, it's not really. It's not really the temperature here for ice cream. But you know what? I'll take it regardless. I will take it regardless. Okay. Oh, is that the, 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 the tiny polar bear making noises? Where is the tiny polar bear? Is the, the tiny polar... We have two tiny polar bears, actually. We have four polar bears currently, which uh, is actually a problem because that makes the entire um, habitat not quite big enough, actually. You can always eat ice cream. Yeah. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Yeah, look at them, though. They're so adorable. Paddle, paddle, paddle. <laughs> but yeah that makes them um yeah it's not quite enough land area now <clears throat> big old bear paws yeah cool yeah 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 born to eat you is also in australia yep yep <clears throat> oh uh, sorry sir fraser i mean uh, apparently we need a cooler down here as well we're gonna need a load a lot um i i'm just sad how boring a little bit sad about how boring polar bear habitats are that's what I'm a little bit sad about. Because you can't really do anything uh, with them. Because there are no plants that you can put inside. So the only thing you can do is rocks. Which is okay. Don't get me wrong. I love my rocks in this game. I really do. I really truly do. But you can't like put any plants in whatsoever. Because they can technically take plants aquatic and tundra but only from the continent arctic and there are actually no plants that are attacked that way at all that's true yeah you put it uh in them uh, in, in with them anyways it doesn't take the novel well that much yeah that's true we could we could just do that oh our polar bears grow up at rocks just everywhere yes <laughs> you do fancy rock sculptures oh god i'm so bad at that i tried i'm so bad at it all right uh, our, our polar bears have grown up uh that's a weird name oh that's just showing the yeah you wait you're an adult you haven't you haven't grown up to adult size yet clearly because you're definitely not an adult right now oh my game i think my game may have broken <clears throat> you're three-fourths of the way to another zombie redemption nice uh my rocks are that's true yeah that's true my rocks are a masterpiece there's some nice really dead trees Honk. yeah yeah there are some nice nice dead trees that's absolutely true actually 
uh that was just one and there's just two group yeah it's just two there we go right yes okay and and there's poop again there's always poop there's always poop there's always poop why is there always poop everybody uh no 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 stop it stop fighting stop fighting um how good are you ah uh, they're both we didn't really there weren't any good uh polar bears in the market when we when we got our polar bears like any whatsoever yeah uh <clears throat> was it a stew honk yes that was stew yes that was spartan stew <laughs> flame stew stew um artwork should go honk too yeah that would work okay so we got i'm trying to get gorillas in a different zoo that i'm playing offline so hard to get good gorillas and chimpanzees it's ridiculous these are not gonna sell let's check the market it's so weird like markets oh that is expensive as hell i'm gonna get that one because that one is amazing holy shit hi colin saying good to see you 92 100 100 100 yes i don't even care that that is 10,000 credits i'm gonna get that one i'm not even gonna use it in this one uh but yeah achievement complete i guess if i were to put it in my zoo <sighs> me too cucumber that would be lovely i would that would be so lovely all right because the thing is i don't know if it's made so that you don't see your own polar bears on the market um but like it's really difficult to like judge pricing because there is different there are definitely different servers that people put animals on because i had my game up and running when i was watching Ika this morning when he played and he saw completely different animals but as you can see like the western lowland gorilla that we just bought that one comes all the way from korea so i don't know how servers are, are uh, um are i don't know uh shared out i don't know this might also say something totally rude in korean my korean is not good enough to read that <laughs> and understand it well i can read it i can't understand it i should say it that way so who the heck knows um i'm gonna put that up for 750 that sounds about right and then you why are you worse than this one that makes no sense i guess because you well yeah why is this one supposedly going for cheaper even though he's got better stats that's not that makes no sense we're gonna put you up for 920 how about that we still have a few other animals from other zoos as well in here like this one for example but you're not oh yeah i couldn't i can't trade this one because we we bought this one have you ever thought about doing german language lessons on stream uh we're actually funny enough that you're saying that what we're going to be doing is because i want to get back into learning korean actually uh so what we're going to be doing is we are going to make that a trilingual thing so it's going to be korean english and german so hopefully you y'all can learn a little bit of german as well on the side if you want to i am it's static yes but i live in england i've been living in england for three and a half years now but i am german yes good morning seven on hello how are you doing pal hello you're german hello good morning good morning how are you doing <laughs> uh i i i also totally speak proper german totally mm -hmm. uh hi pajama party you came home from germany two days ago oh lovely you're not german no 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 you're not mate you're not mate <laughs> sorry lazarus hello how are you doing coffee and room world and a day off i mean that just sounds awesome to me to be honest oh i forgot oh god i forgot to do anything everything today i am such a derp i got so much shit done and then uh i forgot to trilingual streams yes exactly ezra uh york also hello i forgot to actually switch out the tweet command in the time uh the tweet link in the timer there we go I swear i've got like so much stuff done this morning and now it's like oh what 
No, I did the retweet command. I didn't do the I didn't do the uh, the timed one. The RT is the RT command is actually uh, automatic. And the other one. Okay, let's see. Can we? Oh, they are already on grade three food quality. Okay, cool. There's there's two. Yeah, there's basically two. Um, so you're hungry. So uh, with the big groups, um, as per usual. Uh, somehow they always they still always fill the enrichment food items first and then the food items uh pal thank you for the follow welcome welcome good to have you um that's a bit annoying then you get people then you get animals starving if you've got like the big groups like that uh, gotta say hello to people oh lex is visiting peachy and that one as well and then this one which doesn't even show up properly all right, see you in a bit, Sir Fraser. Uh, let's do a welfare check. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, let's do a social welfare check on our um, exhibit animals. How about that? Oh God, licking has commenced. Yeah, there's a there's a few too many in here. We should probably take out one more frog as well. There we go. That's wet. It is. Yeah, it is indeed. Indeed. Um. So the problem is with the gorillas. I wasn't planning on putting gorillas in this zoo right this morning, but considering that we bought just that amazing gorilla right now, I might just put them in here. So I guess we're designing uh, designing a gorilla habitat. Also, I was looking for my other exhibits. There they are. Honestly, at some point I will learn the layout of my zoo, but it's not today. Also, we need to make this nicer at some point. That is theoretically just there at the moment to make uh to steadily generate conservation credits um but uh yeah it's not very nice to look at at the moment and we'll take two out there we go much better uh are you gonna prepare for the next community what is the next community ch challenge I haven't I actually haven't seen that. Hyragon, your gorillas is your next animals to be added as well. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, we could design uh we could design an extra Indian elephants. Oh, I see. See, I haven't looked yet. Um we could do we could do for that as well. We could prepare for that. I might have let me check something real quick. Let's save an extra to the main menu, because I have a zoo that I play in uh off stream. Um and I have both elephants in that so i might have some extra indian elephants in there is it releasing or breeding them i should check i should keep i should uh challenge planet zoo i should uh, i should check that more often <clears throat> you could check no I'm, I'm i'm looking right now as well thank you though i appreciate it release ten thousand indian elephants into the wild okay so it is releasing them into the wild Ooh perfect so if we go into our upside down zoo which is yes i know i know i know i know stupid terror uh, stereotypical jokes but i really like my up down, upside down uh zoo uh we can see if we've got some indian elephants that we can like relocate because i think they've had they have had babies so we could just grab a couple or we just could grab those and put them in our current zoo and prepare uh yeah warthogs okay this is my this is my off offline zoo it's not super super big yet yet i was working on a chimpanzee type stuff here this is not finished yet though uh all right indian elephants where are my indian elephants what the oh <laughs> for a second i was like what the heck were they doing here but i just uh, i just designed that like for a second i thought this was food and it was like bugging out and they were ha they had like a mountain of food there but no it's all good <laughs> everything's all right okay i have five in here so there's you he's not very good i didn't get great ones 38 how long can they breed you have returned welcome back indian elephant that's the hippopotamus they get up to 61 years old. So she's still got 20 years of breeding left in her, which sounds really horrible. So we have her. The question is, we have 
We have this baby here. The question is just, who is your mother? Also, where are you? There you are. Tiny little baby. Uh, not really so tiny. Um, oh, there's... Oh, pff. not enough parents. There we go. Uh, Arnav and Arna. That's okay then, because that means we can, we can breed this one once it's grown up with the other one that we just took out. So I'm going to put you into the storage here and then we go sweet, uh, switch over to the other zoo again and then we can use those two and we can breed them without inbreeding them, which is good. They're just not very great for stats yet, but we have that gorilla. Oh my God. We still need to get, it was a male gorilla, wasn't it? So we need to get a female gorilla uh, as well. Uh, utterly frozen too. There we go. But yeah, then then the, literally the only thing that we need to do is work on all the animals eventually. I don't even know if you can fit all animals in a zoo. Probably not the way I'm playing because I make my enclosures usually way too big. Except the polar bears. <laughs> Though the polar bear one is now fine too again because we took out two polar bears. So this is actually fine now again completely yeah this is now totally fine because there's two in there i say fine but it's, it's like it's like barely fine but it's it's enough in the green is 100 percent. so all good oh what did we get oh apparently no exhibit species even though i did that okay uh gorillas let's let's check if there's a new gorilla um you don't need polar bears we want a female gorilla, correct? Western lowland gorilla. All right, female. There's another not so good one. We I think we had it. We 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 got a great deal on our gorilla there actually. Uh let's see. Yeah, that's a that's a great deal. Holy crap. You get 25,000 if you just do a quick trade with this one. Crazy. Okay, yeah, we do need to get a female uh what do they require i've never done gorillas so i don't know what they require um 780 that's actually not that big 40 climbing they need less climbing requirement type stuff than the chimpanzees do great three climb proof uh up to one male up to four females but it says three to six here one plus four equals five not six what? <laughs> i think the game's drunk oh boy uh gorillas are hot commodity i guess huh all right we'll, we'll work on the habitat first and then we'll we'll worry about other things later so over here we've got snow leopards which are not quite super dark like the it's not this is okay but it's not great. One animal died. Yes. My poor old reindeer. It's so... You know what the worst thing about animals dying is? They literally took the time... If you let them lie... If, if, they, if, they, stay, if they stay... Like, without being picked up for, for, a, for a while... They actually animated flies buzzing around the corpse. <laughs> so horrible. This also needs design yet. And... I have a lot of unfinished products in this zoo. <laughs> Product? Uh, habitats, but I mean, you know what I mean. Also, our turtle shell still needs work. So these were our dogs. So this is hot. So we could do another... Hmm. If you, you had bones in your zoo. Really? Oh, wow. Bones, that's crazy. We probably have too many in here again, yeah as per usual too many they grow up way too fast uh let's take out uh maybe like that many and put them in storage for now and then we put them on the trade center it was bugged with your quarantine oh yeah you got placeholders everywhere and you're like i'll fix that later all the time oh yeah 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 to be fair i was waiting in this i'm waiting in the zoo to completely design it be, until i've got every every um theme researched so i have every design 
option available right and right now i'm still the only thing i need is to finish india and east asia and then we've got all the themes done yeah i think i might need to get another vet in the zoo we're starting to get pretty big and we've got two that are basically permanently researching and then we should have two that are walking around ch checking on the animals <clears throat> so we could do i'm not so sure i like these refreshment buildings here i just plonk them there because god what do people want food and drink all the time holy crap it's ridiculous all the time so many benches now oh god i don't know what to pick i need to i need to like actually put them all down and have like a look-see at them i also need to check i hope did they fix vika did they fix the arctic bins because when they first came out they uh, after a reload of the map they wouldn't actually um accept them as 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 rubbish bins and people would just chuck their stuff on the floor all the time why are you stressed okay you need to hide somewhere but you're just running over here now because this is the only food that they've filled so far yeah we need to have something where our dal sheep can hide behind a little bit more i think and not just this i might just raise this area up with that how high did we go here if we edit the barrier that's three meters so what if we do that here too so they have a little bit of stuff where they can hide as well raise that up to three meters because the crazy thing is what i've noticed as well is you need to make your barrier so high so that for people to not be able to look over them um and then they complain about oh my god the view from here is crap well yeah of course it is because you're literally looking at a freaking wall <laughs> it's like hmm yeah that's not quite how it works we might to get we might need to get another feeding station as well in here i think let's fix that real quick because <clears throat> you can have a lot of sheep you can have a lot of sheep oh boy i'm sorry everybody enjoy hi color hello There's a lot of music going on right now. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff going on right there at the same time. First of all, hello, color. Uh, a wooden outer fence and a chain linked inner one. You could, yeah, you can definitely use several fences. You can also do very funky things with um, certain building stuff, uh, certain building things. For example, Ika has found out if you make like, ro if you use ropes, animals can't go through ropes but people can so it's very funky um there's lots of stuff that we can still play around with there, there are so many options uh and then there's johnny q13 with a prime sub thank you so much for that i know you get one spot to spend it and you chose to do that here thank you i appreciate it a lot and then wayward vega hello how are you doing it is lovely to see you yeah um uh yeah yeah we need more food in here because our sheep are reaching critical mass right now <laughs> we can have 40 in a habitat which is a bit crazy because i think no space is still okay even with 14 animals in here mm -hmm. yeah long time no see i'm doing quite all right i got really sick over christmas and i'm still quite, quite struggling a bit but i'll be all right i will be all right in the end uh isn't it cool worth it going for chat if you want to launch the spaceship uh flanders at the end of the game then yes you you'll need it uh you won't be able to leave the planet without one mm, we could do gorillas here let's do that uh we need to move these trees bonk the mods also add neat stuff you can do with them. That's true, yeah, if you're playing modded. Yeah. For, but for vanilla, you will need it if you want to actually leave. There you go. I have so much designing left to do, which is awesome, actually. Um, 
Yes, exactly, cucumber. Mm -mm. Favorite, personal favorites are yeah, it's just calling defenses and androids. I mean, there's also like EPOE. You can use it to like fix a brain injury, for example, which is quite nice. Who is this? Uh, the rat pandas. Oh boy. What's the what's the problem with the rat pandas? Also mechanics probably too. Oh, just a few too many. Oh god. Yeah, just a few too many. Um, Thor. I have a feeling. Hey, Zastaver. Me fires the missiles of greetings. It fig is quert. Fig is quert. I don't know. I don't know what's gotten into my 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 text to speech, but yes. Hello, Zastaver. How are you doing? Uh, thank you so much for uh, 17 months of streaking. Also, uh, happy new year. Because <coughs> <coughs> I actually have not talked to you, talked to you yet this year. How are you doing? Sorry, I'm still sick. As I said, there's there there will be there will be coughing eventually. I don't think African wild dogs go for super duper much. So, yeah, just stop it. Might be annoying for a bit. <laughs> Fair enough, okay. Don't don't be too annoying though. Uh just saying. Uh, uh and Zoe, hello Chalupa, how are you? Ah, that's that one's okay. We're gonna release you into the wild. It's not really worth it to try and sell animals that have a lot of with uh, of negative for animals where a lot of them are uh, available. We were mega, thank you so much for your prime sub as well that's really kind thank you for three months and thank you for spending that here i know that was about to spend it and you chose to do it here too thank you for the support it is very much appreciated and now that we spend it on uh, western lowland gorillas we need to get more anyways yeah uh, it's day 12 days of work oh oh i'm sorry that sucks that really sucks but soon you can do it. I believe, Zoe, you can do it. Uh, and Alexander, hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm just doing some animal inventory management right now. Oh my god, we've got so many with... There's lots of inbreeding going on with the wild dogs, which is not a good thing. Uh, we need to... I'm just chucking them all out right now. Time for you to go to bed. Sounds good, Snoot. Sounds good. Sleep well. And thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. Two past two were just a few hours. Uh, we're still days of fixing other people's stuff. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Still sucks though. I mean, even if it's even if it's just a few uh, hours, it's still work. It, you still at least I, I'm the type of person who who will always have that in the back of their mind. That, like for the entire day that there's work to be done right uh so yeah uh you've got a question do your mechanics repair your atms automatically or do you have to manually call them they will eventually get round to doing it yes uh eventually um it depends on how much other stuff there is to do if you want to do if you want you uh, if you want them to fix it immediately then you have to call them but they will eventually fix vandalized and broken down items. It just takes a little bit, especially if they've got lots of other work to do. Because as far as I know, they will always prioritize uh, barriers. Yeah. So I would, I would for, for ATMs, it's not super important, but for things like... Um, uh like uh electricity and water treatments i would always you know when you get the alert i would always do the call the mechanic thing just to make sure that they actually get that sorted because you don't want you know your things to break down uh info kiosk profit increased dial ship education rating to 25 percent how 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 even if i do the advanced research bonus no not gonna happen okay gorillas now i can actually do gorillas cool uh we said over here didn't we right here 
Yes. <clears throat> Eventually, like a real mechanic. I mean, that's true. That is true, Zoe, yeah. Okay, wait. Uh, so, Western Lowlands. Clearly, Lowlands means they're going to need an elevation. So, I'm thinking rising it up in the back and then having it like level in the front so people can see uh, very well. Obviously, this looks like terrible right now. Um, and I'm also going to probably make it bigger than I, you know, need because that's just how I operate. That's just how it always happens. And then we can maybe do some, some weird climbing stuff. I also want to do, like, another waterfall, but waterfalls... Uh, I don't know, I don't get quite along with the, uh, with the water special effect type stuff. Because you, you can't actually use physical water in this, like, to do, like, an effect thing it's it's all um you know just effects um all right and then we'll smooth this out a little bit there we go what if we use this and then let's check how big this is i have a really hard time judging how big something is giggity yes i know that's what she said etc etc yada 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 <laughs> but i have a really hard time judging how big a habitat is in this game <laughs> That's why most of mine are usually way too big. <laughs> that is also what she said. Um, anyways, moving on. <laughs> From that, right? Right, right, right. Um, right there, and then we'll go. Corner. Corner. If we do it like this here, then we can put our gate there. <laughs> Loots. What? I would never, balls. I would never. You know. You know I would never. I would absolutely never, ever, ever do that, ever. <clears throat> do I want to do... I'm thinking I want to do, like, their sleeping area, like, back there, maybe? That could work. This is going to be way too big, and people are going to complain because it's flat back here and they can't see. But got to get the animal... Give the animals a little bit of space to hide, too. <laughs> So we'll probably use a two-way glass anyways. And this is way too big. Again, I can I can already tell. But to be honest, most things in this feel otherwise. Like it feels it feel a lot of stuff in this feels too small otherwise. It's it's weird. Subjectively it feels like it's too small most of the habitats that you can build and do All right uh nope why does it always want to do that like with the with the curved ones it always only connects to like one side i can't connect it to that one but if i do if i do this that works why can't why can't a curved one connect here why does a curved one always need to connect there i don't understand why why <laughs> ah the questions all the questions all right habitat oh i should place the ga gate first so i can see the um the size probably way too big <clears throat> Bonk. way too big way too big oh yeah <laughs> we could split this in half if you wanted to do is there a way you can get straight barriers oh yeah definitely um you can you can do this is straight sections and this is these are curved sections and then you can make them the length uh, like longer or shorter see fiend hello yeah i'm gonna split this in half because this is way too big um so yeah you can totally go absolutely straight if you want to uh just use the straight selection tool and you can make them longer as well you can make them 20 meters uh if you want them to uh be longer i haven't quite i need to experiment with longer sections of wall when it's like facing the front of the exhibit because that could actually be quite nice like uh, where people like look at us uh look at the exhibit there we go how big is this now probably still more than enough yeah four thousand that is more than enough for a group of six because they each want 780 so it's no five total i think the number in there is cor incorrect all right, let's do rock down there in the water. Maybe with a little bit of 
a little bit of sand. Right, just there. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Sea Fiend? Lovely to see you. Okay, apparently it's valid to put water there. That's just gonna flood everything, though. Yeah, I was gonna say that's gonna flood everything. Um, let's see. So I could do it there. I can do it there, though. Yeah, this is what I wanted. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. Obviously, we need to make sure, but this should be covered by that water treatment, so we don't have to worry about it. Yep, that's fine. I can't decide today if the music is too loud for me or too quiet. I don't know. My brain's being a weird brain today. Uh, gorilla. All right, what do you want? We could make them a shelter, but I think I want to use one of these. And I don't think we're going to need that one. I think this one is probably sufficient. Um, so if we put that like here, that should be nice. And they can chill here and not be bothered by the people. It's a beautiful brain. Oh, thank you. Hi, Sonida Skyrim. How are you doing this morning? Good to see you. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. All right, let's do... Oops. Can I actually even smooth this? I don't think I can. I'm gonna make this a bit nicer. And hopefully they can... Oh, God. I didn't want to go down that well, that far. <laughs> You're doing all right? I'm glad to hear that. I just wanted to pull this back a little bit so it doesn't look so strange. Mm, Jensen! Hello. Hello there, friend. How are you today? There we go. We'll just use this to flatten this out a little bit and then we'll smooth it and then that should look okay. And they should be able to actually go uh, in there. Uh, Alexander, be nice. Be nice. There's no need to tell him to shut up. <clears throat> there is no need for unkind words. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Jensen? It's lovely to see you. Aw, and so nice to Skyrim with the kind words as well. I approve. Back to your room world addiction. <laughs> nice. Okay, there we go. This should this should work. Um oh do we wanna like maybe hmm? Hmm. Because this is very low now. But we could do like rocks and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah. Well, I know there's a few others who are playing RimWorld right now. Right this second. So you're not the only one. You are not the only one. Okay, let's see. Oof, you're very tiny. You're even tinier. Or four and a half thousand. Ugh. 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 But we might have to. It's like the best one available. Yeah, let's do it. Oof, tata. <laughs> Some of these names are so funny sometimes. Uh, all right, where did I put my quarantine over here? Um, yeah. She is pretty tiny. Yeah, the size is only 25%. Hi, Legrandway. How's it going? And Rainforester, uh, hello. Happy Monday. Lovely to see you. It's pretty tiny. Pretty tiny. See, 25%. Pretty tiny. Okay, come on. <coughs> Oops, sneeze. <laughs> there we go. Delivery scheduled. Good. Yesterday, I had this weird issue where um, my vets... We're taking animals to honk, honk. Uh, they were taking my animals to um to the veterinary surgery and then on the way back they just dropped the box on the floor like somewhere randomly on a path and then the game would yell at me animal has been in a box outside of habitat for too long can you overfeed animals to make them bigger no you cannot you cannot no uh this is genetics this is not not size as in like weight but just size as in like actual like you know bone length and all that stuff it's all genetic and hello how are you doing 
uh you got your hundredth follower yesterday oh on twitch awesome that's awesome fantastic anyone want an overgrown puppy no way no walk from stage with lots of smoke so he's crazy and trying to eat your computer oh no Hmm. poor puppy but yeah the smoke is just so uh bad i must be i mean it's bad for humans it might, it's it's just bad for animals too isn't it okay category search done sweet i need or what uh, i want i haven't really looked i haven't really looked at the steam workshop for this game because i feel very i would feel very insecure <laughs> because my building is um uh terrible compared to what people uh uh put out so to speak on the market um but on the other hand i need ideas for signs for signage because the i mean the you know the signs that are in the game are yeah they're all right but they're kind of meh yeah right so so no i'm looking for i'm looking for ideas oh, i like this Ooh, ooh! i like this what if we do what if we do this literally just these two right and then we'll we'll duplicate it put it like this and then we put the the screen on top of this you have the 3d letters yeah oh no i was thinking i was um uh thinking signage for for uh, the education board sorry i should have clarified but yeah there it needs it needs a lot more things i i agree yeah it definitely does oh god it's so hard to see uh where stuff is being placed oh god i can't even okay let's do it like that first and then we need to move it uh advanced movement stop giving me this stupid overlay i don't need it i was thinking like something like this that could be neat but i'm thinking i'm going to move the sculptures a little bit further apart but this could be nice for the gorillas i think i like this it's very low key but it's 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 nice i think <clears throat> yeah i think i like that i wish there was something to put on the back as well that'd be neat uh let's see is there anything that we could grab bison we can put a bison at the back <laughs> um thank you thank you Anne. i mean it would be cool wait 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 oh i have an idea i have an even more better idea i have an even better better more idea because <laughs> you know why it looks weird because it's like sort of poking out that's why it's looking weird but what if we sink it in just a little bit more like that i think that's gonna look nicer than when it was like kind of uh poking out use a smaller leaf oh to put like at the at the side oh maybe or maybe down below yeah maybe 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 that could work um a lot of these things i've never really looked at because we never really unlocked everything uh before on the back the, the thing is there i mean there's these small ones let's see oh god it's trying to do the whole uh align the surface thing with these i mean what if we what if we do that just in front as well it's gonna cover up a little bit of the information but i don't think that's bad oh damn it i keep forgetting that you have to have this up uh, in order to be able to place things you mean here at the back no oh, no that looks that looks i'm not sure wait that's the wrong rotational thing um let's see 
trying to figure out if there's something could be done but i think that's just gonna look strange yeah no i don't think that's i don't think that's gonna work i mean to be fair they're not gonna see this they're not gonna see this the the, the visitors right but maybe if we do like a 3d-ish type thing like that that could work and then move it in a little bit so it's not quite so Ooh, quite forward i think i like that and then if we do another one on the side maybe um yeah do another one so healing your confusion <laughs> fine <clears throat> there we go and if we do one here as well i think my music just stopped as well root music how dare it stop and then we'll move that in there as well i think that's gonna work i don't think people are going to mind if a little bit is covered up because i think it's more about just actually having the board there than anything else like that maybe right now we can't see it very well because the sun is being silly maybe move the board up just a little bit like that nope damn it i didn't actually save that now it feels like there's something missing at the top as well framing it doesn't it oh no my giant panda is about to die of old age no hi wasom hello how are you <laughs> hello and look <laughs> have a good look thanks for being here appreciate it Ooh, boo, 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 boo. I know how dare I I'm just trying to see if there's like anything else that we could do I wish you could I wish you could take these things oh god where am I how do I get here I wish you could take these things and like make them smaller and bigger that would be so good that would be I would love that so much that's gonna look awkward though that would be so oh I would be all over that all over but maybe if we just put um, a plant behind it uh, that could actually just help already what if we do like a bamboo thingy make them bigger yes and smaller <laughs> giggity what if we just do not necessarily that one where's the two meter that's also four meter there we go if we do a two isn't there a two i thought there was a two meter strip as well there's a fountain bamboo two meters but if we do if we do if we do it like this now we need the we need the four meter strip unfortunately if we because i think if we just do something like that that's actually gonna that's actually gonna be fine yeah i think it just looks odd because there's currently nothing behind it but this is it's never gonna not have anything behind it right at least it's gonna have um at the very least it's gonna have the uh barricade thing behind it so there we go bonk 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 did it, did it grab all of them five no one two three four yeah five okay uh save merge scenery into group perfect cool all right now we've got this so now we can just move it as one yeah i think i like that and this this also has the uh, option of not just standing on the ground but also being like just actually put on a wall that works too which is neat all right that research is done cool obviously we can also design other things other signage as well <clears throat> all right grab all of those uh three i want to say three meter now grade three climb proof grade three climb proof is there a maximum height a minimum height no it's just it's literally just grade three climb proof so i could make it one meter high and it'd be fine <laughs> some of the requirements were very funny <laughs> 
uh, to me sometimes. Some they're, they're just really funny. So we could do we could just do red brick. We can we can literally just do that and then this and just lower it down and it's fine. This is fine. They're not go they're not getting out. If it doesn't say if it doesn't specify a uh, minimum height that it needs, they will never go over a uh, uh, over one of these. The only problem is this does not look nice with that but uh we might just be able to because the colors don't don't really work if you ask me <laughs> so we'll have to we'll have to see what we'll do about that but uh there we go um apparently that's fine uh could change the leaves color oh yeah true 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 no you're absolutely right you are both absolutely right oh god that looks terrible no 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 uh maybe we'll just put the put it up here there we go it is an arboreal feeding platform it is actually is all right uh let's go into enter group edit mode um uh, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Actually, I'm not sure if I can. Um, I'm not sure if I can because it's not showing up here. I might be able to change it before I place it. Like, you know, if it's just it. Or before I place it. Position, position, rotation. I don't think I can. Advanced movement, duplicate. I don't think I can. Yeah. That'd be cool though if we could just make them like dark or white or whatever. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, to be fair, we could also just put a board behind it. Maybe like a green rectangular board type stuff maybe i'm just maybe i'm just also silly maybe you can i mean what if we do oh damn it <laughs> uh just this obviously obviously i'm gonna move that now because that looks terrible um also why does it look like it has a like it has a raged raised edge right there um if we do like a deep green like that that's not a very nice green <laughs> oh it might be a bit too flat it would be nice if it were smaller I don't think there's anything that's smaller. Unless maybe wait, 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 wait. Uh delete that one. And if we use the triangle. Too much like a green screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I have an idea though. I have an idea. What if we just do that? Um with a different color. FD getting fancy, yes. Um, to be fair, you can you can totally go like color palette as well. You can do that. I need to wait, 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 wait. Before we go proper fancy, um, how much do I want them to stick out? Maybe like that and then let's do the color then no 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 i'm not this in green it's just i want an i want a i want a specific kind of green apparently i can't make this one go away um that's all 
Um, I just don't know what kind of green I want. 